All right, guys, welcome to another episode. Where you there? In the kitchen. Kitchen. This week we're going to be doing a curry shrimp and we're going to be using our Walker's Wood curry paste. The first thing you need to do is get your pot, make it nice and hot. You're going to put one tablespoon of your curry paste, then you're going to add all your fresh ingredients to saute. At this point you're going to then add your shrimp, put your shrimp in, um, make sure you have 1620 P and D and you're going to put a little bit more of the curry paste on it just so your shrimp can be flavored. Sprinkle with your dry ingredients, your obey season, your garlic powder, your onion powder, um, fresh garlic, and you're just gonna let that saute and cook for probably about another minute or so. Um, you don't have to overcook it, and don't overcook it because you still have a little bit more way to go. So you're just gonna let the saute, stir him up a little bit, make him look real nice, make sure your season is well marinated in, and just let it cook for a couple minutes, looking real good. Let's go with a little bit more of the curry paste, you probably about a uh, table, um, teaspoon should be good, and just let it saute for a little bit more so you can get that real flavor into your shrimp and everything start coming together, looking real good. At this point, you can add your broccoli in, and you can also add your spinach and also gonna let that saute in. This dish is gonna be very colorful and you're gonna definitely enjoy eating this dish. My seafood stock, which you can have, you put a little bit of liquid butter, let it saute again a little bit more um, because now you're trying to build a gravy. The gravy is what you definitely wanna you want to build this gravy because you definitely want this that's going to go with whatever you're serving it with. Either you're going to serve it with some white rice or you're going to serve it with some rice and peas or you're just going to go with some some food, some yam, dumpling and banana that you want to serve it with. That's quite fine. You're going to let this saute for I'll say probably another two more minutes. Just let them cook real good. The curry paste, the flavor is very smooth. It's very enjoyable. It's not something that you can um, you can mess up. And you're gonna put in your potato and let your potato cook a little bit. Um, I pre-cook the potato just so I can have it ready. So when I put it in, the potato will be fine and it's almost um, ready to take off. So I'm just gonna let this cook for probably another two minutes or so. Then I'm gonna take it over to my plate. There's two ways you can serve this. You can serve this on a plate by itself, and then you can have your sides on a separate plate, like your white rice, or if you wanna do some crackers, or if you wanna do some, some bread, what they call it, um, the hardware bread. That would also be nice to go with. Um, the best drink that go with this is a nice cool red striped beer, or you can do a uh, red striped beer, you can do a nice lemonade, that also go well. You can do a nice Heineken, that's also go well. Or you can do some, some bami. The same time you're cooking the, the shrimp when it's almost finished, that's the time you put the bami in and the bami will come off real well. You're gonna go with some fresh lemon on the side and you're good. Cause you know a seafood, you always wanna make sure that you have your lemon going. And you're looking real good, presentation is ready. Everything look nice and clean. Shrimp is pretty and this is what you want to shoot for. You can also serve this with white rice. 